Are you an avid online shopper or a small business owner selling goods online? The rise of e-commerce has undoubtedly transformed the way we conduct business, making transactions faster, easier, and more convenient than ever before. However, with these new opportunities come new risks. Financial crimes, including money laundering, have found a new breeding ground in the world of online commerce. In this video, we'll explore the benefits of e-commerce, the types of financial crimes that can occur, and real-life cases of how these crimes can occur. Join us as we delve into the murky world of online financial crimes and learn how to protect yourself from becoming a victim. But before diving deep into our video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to stay updated with our latest videos. Online platforms have revolutionized the way we shop and sell products. It has made the process more accessible, efficient, and faster. We can now purchase goods and services from anywhere in the world with just a few clicks. E-commerce platforms have also created opportunities for small businesses to sell their products and reach a broader audience. This has resulted in increased competition, better prices, and more consumer options. Unfortunately, with the growth of online platforms, financial crimes have also increased. Money laundering is one of the most significant challenges faced by law enforcement agencies globally. Criminals use online platforms to hide the origin of their funds and make it difficult for authorities to trace the money trail. Online marketplaces, payment systems, and e-wallets are often used to launder money. Financial crimes refer to illegal activities that involve financial transactions, such as fraud, bribery, corruption, and money laundering. Money laundering, on the other hand, is the process of disguising the proceeds of illegal activity as legitimate funds. E-commerce platforms can provide a fertile ground for money laundering as they are not always subject to the same regulations and scrutiny as traditional financial institutions. In such cases, criminals can use online platforms to transfer funds, purchase goods, and exchange currencies without detection. Online platforms can also be used to hide the source of illegal funds. One example of this is the case of the dark web marketplace, Alphabet. In 2017, Alphabe was shut down by the FBI, and its founder was arrested for money laundering, drug trafficking, and other criminal activities. Alphabe was an online darknet marketplace that was operational from 2014 until its seizure by authorities in 2017. The site allowed users to buy and sell illegal goods and services, including drugs, firearms, stolen data, and malware using cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin. The site was operated by a Canadian citizen named Alexander Cases, who was known by the username Alpha02. Cases was arrested in Thailand in 2017 but committed suicide while in custody before he could be extradited to the United States. Alphabe had over 200,000 users and generated hundreds of millions of dollars in revenue during its existence. The site had a reputation for being more secure and reliable than its competitors, which helped it to attract a large user base. Alphabet had a sophisticated system for conducting transactions, including an escrow system that held funds until the buyer received the goods or services they had purchased. The site also had a reputation system that allowed buyers and sellers to rate each other, which helped to establish trust among users. Alphabi had partnerships with a variety of criminal organizations and individuals, including drug cartels and weapons dealers. The site facilitated transactions between buyers and sellers from all over the world, including the United States, Europe, and Asia. Red flags for Alphabi included the sale of illegal goods and services, the use of cryptocurrencies for payment, and the anonymity of users. These factors made it difficult for law enforcement to track and investigate criminal activity on the site. Authorities began investigating Alphabi in 2016, and the site was shut down in July 2017 following a joint operation by law enforcement agencies in the United States, Canada, and Thailand. During the operation, authorities seized the site servers and arrested several individuals connected to the site. The investigations into Alphabi involved a variety of techniques, including undercover operations, surveillance, and the analysis of cryptocurrency transactions. 
the authorities were able to uncover the identities of several individuals involved in the operation of the site, including cases. Following the seizure of Alfabai, several individuals connected to the site were charged with a variety of crimes, including drug trafficking, conspiracy, and money laundering. In addition, the U.S. Department of Justice issued new regulations aimed at cracking down on illegal activities on darknet marketplaces and increasing the regulation of cryptocurrencies. Overall, the Alphabet case was a significant milestone in the fight against online criminal activity and highlighted the need for increased regulation and enforcement in the areas of online marketplaces and cryptocurrency transactions. To avoid cases like Alphabet, there are several steps that e-commerce platforms can take to avoid falling into financial crime activity and being fined by the authorities. Here are some key measures that can be implemented. Implement strict AML and KYC policies. E-commerce platforms must have robust anti-money laundering, AML, and know your customer, KYC, policies to verify customer identities and monitor transactions for suspicious activity. This will help detect and prevent financial crime. Conduct regular risk assessments. E-commerce platforms should conduct regular risk assessments to identify potential vulnerabilities and adjust their AML and KYC policies accordingly. This can help prevent financial crime before it occurs. Train employees. E-commerce platforms should provide regular training to employees on AML and KYC policies and procedures to ensure that they are aware of their responsibilities and know how to identify and report suspicious activity. Implement effective transaction monitoring. E-commerce platforms must have effective transaction monitoring systems in place to detect suspicious activity, such as unusual transaction patterns or high-risk transactions. Conduct due diligence on third-party service providers. E-commerce platforms should conduct due diligence on third-party service providers to ensure that they have adequate AML and KYC policies and procedures in place. Stay up to date with regulations. E-commerce platforms must stay up to date with relevant regulations and legislation to ensure that their AML and KYC policies and procedures comply with regulatory requirements. Work closely with authorities. E-commerce platforms should work closely with law enforcement and regulatory authorities to report suspicious activity and assist with investigations. In conclusion, Financial crimes are a serious concern for e-commerce platforms, and they must take necessary measures to prevent their platforms from being used for illegal activities like money laundering. By implementing robust AML and KYC policies, conducting regular risk assessments, and staying updated with regulatory requirements, e-commerce platforms can significantly reduce the risk of financial crime. Remember, the consequences of not taking the necessary precautions can be severe, including hefty fines, legal action, and reputational damage. So, it's essential to be vigilant and proactive in preventing financial crime. We hope this video has been informative and helpful in understanding the potential risks and ways to mitigate them. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in our next video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up to date with the latest compliance news and AML analysis. Keep learning and stay competitive with us.